be discussing with the chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium. So, what is chemical equilibrium? Chemical equilibrium this is a phenomenon. This is the characteristic property of reversible reactions. It is the characteristic property of a reversible reactions. What is meant by reversible reactions? Reactions in which conversion of the reactants into products, reactants into products, products into reactants take place simultaneously under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. So, what are the important theoretical aspects regarding the chemical equilibrium? So, we can expect theoretical questions in the chemical equilibrium topic or characters of equilibrium, characters of equilibrium constant, relation between Kc and Kp and units of equilibrium constant, units of equilibrium constant. So, what are the, what are the, what are the characters of chemical equilibrium? When chemical equilibrium is, is established, we observe no further change in the concentrations of the reactants of the products with the time as long as external conditions are maintained constant. How to recognize the attainment of a chemical equilibrium by the constants in observable properties like pressure and color intensity. Equilibrium can be approached from either side of the from either side that is a state of equilibrium can be established by initiating the process with either the reactants or the products or the, or the products. So, equilibrium can be disturbed from by changing the conditions like concentration, temperature and pressure and what is the finally, what is the nature of the equilibrium? Nature of the equilibrium is considered dynamic because even after the equilibrium is established continuous activity in the form of two opposing reactions namely forward and backward reactions take place simultaneously with equal velocities that is the nature of the equilibrium is considered dynamic. Now, what are the important constants of the uh, equilibrium, equilibrium what are the important characters of the equilibrium constant? Equilibrium constant remains constant as long as temperature is maintained constant change in conditions like change in uh, conditions like temperature, pressure, concentration and volume of the vessel will disturb the equilibrium, will disturb the equilibrium, but not the chemical uh, equilibrium constant value. So, chemical equilibrium, uh, uh, equilibrium constant can be expressed in two ways uh, in, in terms of molar concentration, in terms of uh, partial pressures. What is the relation between them? Kp is equal to Kp is equal to Kc into Rt to the power of delta n. What is delta n? Number of moles of gases products minus number of moles of the gases reactants. Higher the higher the values, higher higher values of Kc and Kp indicate that the greater extent of the forward reaction, greater extent of the forward reaction. Now, changes in the values of KCR, KP with change in the stoichiometry. Suppose if a new equilibrium is produced, if equilibrium 2 is equal to equilibrium 1, equilibrium 1 multiplied by n, multiplied by n, then what will be the equilibrium constant for the new equation? K2 will be equal to K1 to the power of n, K1 to the power of n. What is n? n is equal to coefficient of a substance, coefficient of a substance in equation 2, coefficient of a substance in equation 2 by coefficient of the same substance, coefficient of the same substance in equation 1. n takes negative values, if the substance under consideration is on the opposite sides, this is one important. Next, if the resultant equation, if equation 3 is equal to equation 1 plus equation 2, equation 1 plus equation 2, then resultant equilibrium constant will be K3 will be equal to K1 into K2. If equal, if equation 3 is equal to equation 1 minus equation 2, 
equation 1 minus equation 2 k 3 will be equal to k 1 by k 2 k 1 by k 2 these are the important important characters of the important characters of the equilibrium constant.